What is the rule of 72 when it comes to investing? Let's talk about it. The rule of 72 is an easy way for an investor or advisor to approximate how long it will take their investment to double. Based on its fixed annual rate of return, simply divide 72 by the fixed rate of return, and you'll get a rough estimate of how long it will take for your portfolio to double in size. The science isn't exact though, and you may want to use a different formula to account for rates of return that fall outside the certain range. The rule of 72 is a rule of thumb that investors use to estimate how long it will take an investment to double, assuming a fixed annual rate of return and no additional contributions. This rule can help investors understand the power of compound interest. The higher the rate of return, the shorter the amount of time it will take to double or triple an investment. So how do you use the rule of 72 to estimate returns? Let's say you have a portfolio of $100,000 and you want to know how long it'll take to get to $200,000 without adding any more funds. With an estimated annual return of 7%, you divide 72 by 7 to see that your investment will double every 10.29 years. If you want a 1% return, it'll take 72 years to double. 2% return will take 36 years to double. A 5% return will take 14.4 years to double. A 10% return will take 7.2 years to double. And a 12% return will take 6 years to double. The simple calculation is in foolproof though. If you have a little more time and want a more accurate results, you can use the following log formula. In this equation, T is the time for the investment to double. LN is the natural log function and R is the compounded interest rate. So to use this formula for the $100,000 investment, with a 6% rate of return, you can determine that your money will double in 11.9 years, which is close to the 12 years we'd get if you simply divided 72 by 6. And here's how the log formula looks in this case. So how do you use the rule 72 to estimate compound interest? Like most equations, you can move variables around to solve for others that aren't certain. If you're looking back at an investment you've held for several years and want to know what the annual compound interest rate has been, you can divide 72 by the number of years it took for your investment to double. For example, if you started out with $100,000 and 8 years later the balance is $200,000, divide 72 by 8 to get a 9% annual rate of return. Even though the rule of 72 is easy to calculate, it's not always the right approach. For starters, it requires a fixed rate of return, and while investors can use the average stock market return or other benchmarks, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. So it's important to do your research on expected rate of returns and be conservative with your estimates. Also, the simpler formula works best for return rates between 6 and 10%. The rule 72 isn't as accurate with rates on either side of the range. For example, with a 9% rate of return, the simple calculation returns a time to double of 8 years. If you use the log formula, the answer is 8.04 years. Not really a difference. In contrast, if you have a 2% rate of return, your rule of 72 calculation returns a time to double of 36 years. But if you want to run the numbers using a log formula, you get 35 years, a difference of an entire year. As a result, if you're just looking to get a quick idea of how long your investment will take to double, use the basic formula. But if you're calculating the results as part of your retirement or educational savings plan, consider using the log equation to ensure your assumptions are as accurate as possible. So what are your thoughts? When will your investment double? If you like this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I talk about money and everything related to it, so don't miss out. And as always, take care of your money.